Black and Jill Foster here for another PB&J card class and today I'll be making three cards with the Woodland Wonders theme and I'll be doing some one layer stamp designs and also doing some painting and to create my cards the three main focal images come from these transparent sets Spread Cheer, Joy to All, and Regal Reindeer and these are really great for any type of winter themed card and even other seasons. So here's a look at the three cards that we'll be creating and these feature just one layer stamping and kind of a great layout if you love to paint. So to start out, I went ahead and sketched out rectangles onto three pieces of Canson 140 pound watercolor paper. And I'm going to be embossing my images, so I'm just rubbing them with an anti-static bag so that the embossing powder sticks only where I want it to. And I'm using clear embossing powder. And I'll go ahead and get my images on my acrylic block and I'm going to stamp them using Versifying Onyx Black Ink. And I have those, I did sketch the rectangles first so I could really position where my images would be in relation to the colored rectangles on the cards. So I'll just press that down and then I will sprinkle it with the embossing powder and I will heat those to set that. And here I'm just stamping the other two cards. I love these birds. I just love the arrangement of them and they really make a card look unique. These card designs would also be great with this woodland theme for masculine cards, birthday cards, or thinking of you cards, which can be difficult to come up with sometimes. Now for this one to get a little extra use out of this reindeer stamp, I want it to be just a deer and so I'm going to take some painter's tape and just mask off the antlers. So I'm just using a few different pieces so I can turn and twist them so that they only cover the antlers. And then I will ink this with the Versafine Onyx Black ink just like I did with the other two. And then before stamping I'll just take off the tape. and then I can stamp that right onto the card. And excuse my head there while I'm looking over to, for my placement. And again with that one I'll sprinkle with the clear embossing powder and heat to set. So now I'm ready and I'm going to, I'm doing these assembly line styles. So I, now I'm going to do the outer area around the colored rectangle. And I'm coloring with the Vintage Photo Distress Marker just right along that area that I sketched. The reason I'm using the distress markers here, and you could use any type of your uh, water-based markers or water-soluble markers, is that I'm going to move in with the water and let that bleed out. So the darker color will remain right around that rectangle, but it will blend out towards the edge naturally. And it's just easy to get that look with the marker. So you can see I just put the water down first and then move up into the area that I colored and let it just bleed out on its own. And then I'll do the same here at the bottom. And because the images are embossed, they really resist any of the watercolor so that stays a nice crisp bold image. Now I'm going to take the Wild Honey Distress Marker and I'm just doing this to warm up that background a little bit. So I put it colored onto an acrylic block, adding some water, and I'm just dropping that in in a few places and blending it with the Vintage Photo just to get a little bit warmer look for the background. And I did that for the other two cards following the same technique. Now I'm going to paint the inner rectangle using Shimmers Paints and these you just stir up and I use the back of my paintbrush to stir them up. These have a beautiful shimmer glitter within the paint and I'll try and show you within the video some looks at that shimmer. It's really beautiful and I like how that um, adds to this card since it is one layer it gives it a lot of great texture. So for each card I'm using three different colors so I can get a variation from dark to light and just create more interest. I'm painting around the rectangle with just clear water first which will help all three colors blend together. But I'm being careful not to touch 
into the brown part, into that distress marker. If I do a little bit, that's okay, but I don't want that to start bleeding into the inside of the rectangle. So on this first card, the colors that I'm using are Wet Wagon, Ultramarine, and also Sugar Plum. And all of the exact colors and stamps and everything I've used on the cards for my supplies will be listed at the end of the video for you. And I just go back and forth with the different colors, adding more paint, removing some um, with just sort of a clean brush. You can pull color up if you need to and mixing the colors together with water until I'm happy with the look. There's really no wrong way to do it. Just keep, play keep playing till you like it. I always like to start light and then add more color. So you can see as I work, I keep adding more. And I really love the way these three colors blend together. Then you can also take your panel and tip it up and down and to the sides and let the ink run and drip and pool, however you like it. I did have a little buildup on the trunk of the tree here, so I'm just dabbing that up with a baby wipe before it's completely dry, I'll take a baby wipe and just pounce that on top in a few areas to lighten things up and that also adds to the background texture. And I'll just set that aside to dry and I'm using the same technique on these other two cards. For this one, the colors I'm using are Sunflower, Magenta, and Pumpkin. And on for the next card, the colors I'll be using are Green Olive, Jilted Jade, and Tickle Me Turquoise. So I'll just put on some music here and I'll be back in a little bit. Now that those are dry, I'm ready to add some background stamping. And for this first one, I'm using the Penny Black transparent set called Footnotes. I use this one all the time. I've inked it with archival ink in the color of potting soil, but when I apply the ink to the stamp, I'm just very lightly applying the ink. And when I press the stamp onto the card, I'm also not applying even pressure because I don't want it to stamp perfectly. I just want it to be sort of fade in and out on the background. And I'm just using a piece of scratch paper to mask the colored portion of the card so that the stamping is just around the outer edges. I also stamp my sentiments using the holiday snippets and the snippet sets. And there's just a look at that awesome shimmer in the center portion of the card. Now for this one I'm using a, another stamp from the Spread Cheer transparent set. This is the set that had the birds and I'm just stamping up in this upper left hand corner. Again masking off the colored portion of the card 
just using a piece of scratch paper and applying various pressure to the stamp so I get some light and some darker areas as I stamp that. And there's a look at the shimmer on that one. And then for this last card, I'm using the Transparent Set Soft Grace. Just to add a few snowflakes. This would be a fun like winter birthday card or just a thinking of you card in the winter. Now to finish off the cards, I wanted to give them even more of a little bit hand-painted look. So I'm just taking some gesso with my finger and rubbing that randomly on the edges of the cards. And this adds just a little bit of lightness to the backgrounds. I felt like they were getting a little bit heavy with all of the browns. So just by adding a little white, it's amazing sometimes how much that will make the design pop and the colors even pop more when you see a touch of white. You could also apply this with a paintbrush. Acrylic paint would look well too. You could even do acrylic paints and pull in some of the colors from the center rectangle if you wanted. And then once these were complete, I just mounted them to my note card using dimensional adhesive. I used quite a bit because they did curl a little bit because of all the wet media that was added to them. But once they were down onto the note card with the dimensional adhesive, they flattened out. And here's a look at some of the texture and the shimmer um, that is achieved with the paints and also the embossing of the stamped images. to our channel. You can also connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and on our website, which will all be linked in the description box below. And here's a list of all the supplies used on today's cards.